Hey everyone, Mr. Sujano here. In this video, we're talking about Nintendo Switch on PC, Nintendo Switch on Android, and Lemuroid. Let's get started. All right, we'll kick things off here talking about Nintendo Switch emulation on PC, and I guess on the Steam Deck with Ryu Jinx. Now, Ryu Jinx is at it again, or more or less, they're still at it. Kirby and the Forgotten Land was just released today, and it's already playable at 4K via Ryu Jinx. It looks better in Ryu Jinx than it does on the Nintendo Switch. Now, as for Yuzu, I haven't tested it out just yet, but BSOD Gaming did have the demo up and running here at 4K 60 frames a second, and that looks promising for the full version. Now, if you don't think this is impressive, I don't know what to tell you. I think this is incredibly exciting. I have seen comments in previous videos that Ryu Jinx and Yuzu are treading on thin ice here, emulating a console that's currently in production. Just a friendly reminder here, PCSX2 has been out for over 20 years. It was out during PS2 days when the PS2 was still in production. So to sum things up here, Ryu Jinx and the development team continue to be amazing. For some reason, Ryu Jinx isn't as popular as Yuzu, and I find that a little bit baffling. Ryu Jinx is an amazing emulator. If you're trying to emulate Switch, try out both Ryu Jinx and Yuzu. If you have both at your disposal, you're the one who's going to be benefiting from this. Now moving on here, but continuing on the theme of Nintendo Switch emulation, just on Android, and we're talking about Skyline. The development team behind Skyline are amazing as well. In fact, they just had another breakthrough. Super Mario Odyssey is booting a little bit further, and 3D rendering is coming along incredibly well. Now, I'm not going to sugarcoat this. Yes, the 3D models are completely messed up. Mario and Cappy don't look the best. But at the same time here, 3D is rendering, and that is a huge step. On top of that, if we take a look at the FPS in the top left-hand corner, it is saying 6 FPS, which is... What is that, like 600% better than what it was previously at 0 to 1 frames a second? So a 600% increase in speed. If by some chance you don't think this is a breakthrough, that is completely fine with me. We're allowed to differ an opinion. But I will say, if you don't think this is a breakthrough, pay attention to Skyline because things are just heating up. Last up here, we're talking about Lemuroid. In a previous video, we talked about their recent overhaul. They added in 3DS, they tweaked the menu system, and overall presentation is a little bit nicer. Well, there was just another update. That was version 1.13. They're now on version 1.13.1. One. With this latest update, we have a few tweaks, and it was just updated the other day. Uh, they've improved spacing of touch layouts, fixed mixed stick and d-pad events, fixed some flickering on some DS and N64 games, improved detection of gamepads, and fixed a couple of crashes. So if you are using Lemuroid, make sure it is up to date. A little while back, we thought this might be dying. It had been quite a bit of time since it was updated, but since then it's been updated quite frequently and Lemuroid seems to be pretty darn healthy. But anyways, that is all I've got for you in this one. Straight to the point, all stuff and no fluff. Let me know your thoughts about anything we talked about today in the comments below. Whether it was Ryu Jinx running Kirby, Skyline with the 3D rendering breakthrough, or even Lemuroid. Do you use Lemuroid? Let me know in the comments below. If you like this video, leave a like. If you didn't like this video, leave a like. Hit that subscribe button, check out my other videos. Don't tempt fate, save your state.